Hello, everybody. Welcome to HurricaneSports.com. Joe Zagacki alongside University of Miami head coach Jim Morris. This weekend, it is a reunion weekend for the University of Miami, the 2001 National Championship team being honored. And, Coach, uh, first of all, it's going to be a great weekend to see all those guys. It is. It's fun to see them. And uh, some guys I really haven't seen since I uh, won a couple of those guys. So it's uh, the guys locally, of course, you see, but the guys that go back home from wherever, Sometimes it's, you know, it's a time before you see them, and, and their life has changed so much. Most of them are not playing now. Uh, they got families. It's just very interesting to see them, see how they look. It was uh, your second national championship here at the University of Miami. Maybe you can talk about why that club was so important to you. Well, I mean, any national championship is, uh, is you know, it's big, no question. But I guess 99 was the biggest just because I didn't have one. But the fact to get your second one and, and – and, uh, uh, just a great team. We had a great run at the end. Boy, I tell you, we got hot at the end. Both years, really. But that second year, we we lose to Fullerton, and we got hot and swept at, at uh, every game after that. All the tournament games, and it was just a, a great group of guys that played hard. That were you know really good players. It was a remarkable run. Uh, it was about the middle of April or the beginning of April where you lost to Fullerton, and then I don't think lost the rest of the season. And your guys really came together. Uh, highlighted by several great players. We'll talk about uh, some of those guys. But uh, the pitching staff, Tom Farmer, who won the championship game for you against Stanford, he got red right hot. Well, he did. And Tom, you know, of course, went on in pro ball and pitched with the Dodgers. But, uh, that, of course, that big win is the, the first win was the big win in the World Series. And he nails it down with that championship game, but he gets that win also. So he had a great year for us. And, just pitched really well, young man out of Chicago, but he's living here in Miami now, so get to see him once in a while. Let me go around your infield for a minute. You had Lovelady and DeRosa behind the plate, Brown at first, Clue at second, Javi Rodriguez at short, Kevin Howard over at third. Kevin Howard, Kevin's still playing out of those guys that you just mentioned right there. And and so he's from California, so I don't get to see him very much, just a couple times since uh, one, but talk to him you know, once in a while. But uh, good players, of course, Javi. Had a great career for us too, and Clute was a, a gamer that, that got it done. That I see every day, you know, it was around the ballpark, and, and Kevin Brown get to see him. He's living in Fort Myers, doing well, and uh, uh, and of course Derosa is here, you know, once in a while. And Love Lady, you got to talk to him fairly often, and and uh, it's great to have him back from uh, Ohio. He's, I guess he's missing a game to come back for the championship. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So I think that's really nice. Uh, yeah, an outfield of Jimerson in center flanked by Mike Rodriguez and uh, Kevin Mannix. And, of course, Jim Burke Jr. would go in for defensive re uh, purposes. Right. Jim was a redshirt freshman that year and uh, ended up being you know, a starter for us and a captain. And, and Kevin Mannix was an outstanding hitter with a big arm, as you talked about, in right field. And Jimerson, MVP of the World Series, a guy that really, really came on his senior year. You know, his, his, his first three years were not nothing to write home about. And all of a sudden, his senior year, boom, it hit. And, it clicked for him and it had a great thing. Of course, Mike Rodriguez that uh, had a big year for us was a second round pick. Uh, I can't remember what team it was, but a second round draft choice and you know really had a good career. Lives here in Fort Lauderdale, finished playing now and coaching. When you look at the uh, the World Series. You go to Omaha, you uh, you beat Tennessee, you beat USC, you beat Tennessee again, and then Stanford. In the course of those games, Jimerson you mentioned was the MVP. He made a great catch. He went over the wall to make a great catch in center field. You close the game out against USC. Jim Burt makes a great play. The sun, it's a tough field, uh, tough sun field at, at Rosenblatt Stadium, and he makes a great play to close the game out. Well, he does. Uh, you know, over the years, lucky, you know, I can say this, I've been there a few times. So that, that sun field uh, in the old stadium, now we're going to the new stadium, but the old stadium was always a factor. And, you know, the sun would be high, it would be right. difficult, yeah. but then there was an area between the roof and the press box where the sun came through there, which made it tough on line drive. So it was very, very tough. And, Jim was an outstanding player. He played hard for us and got it done. And you know, captain. And he's also coaching right now. So is Javi Rodriguez. So that's three of those guys in that lineup now are our high school coaches. All right. So you beat Stanford in the championship game. To me, it's significant because Miami and Stanford had a pretty big history in the College World Series in '85. Miami uh, beat Stanford in the first game. There were a couple of other years in the '80s where Stanford eliminated the University of Miami. So now you're playing for the championship game. You jump on them early. Tom Farmer pitches well. Kevin Brown hitting the long ball. Javi Rodriguez makes records the final out. So everything went well for you. They did. And Kevin Brown, I mean, without question, <laughs> every year he was here, he was hot in the NCAA tournament and played in the, in the World Series and just, just really lit it up that time. Javi Rodriguez was our MVP of the regular season. And, but, uh, you know, every position was good and yeah. unique guys that uh, all played pro ball and, and uh, 
did pretty well. You know, the, as we wrap this up, the one thing about that squad, Coach, is uh, when you win a championship, everybody contributes. And everybody on that team, everybody that's going to be here this weekend, they helped you win that championship, whether it was a reliever, a pinch runner, a pinch hitter, an everyday player. Everybody helped you win, help win that championship. And no question. I mean, from our bullpen to our starting pitchers to our closer to, to whatever. But everybody had a role in that team, and it was one time team that was really united to be the best they could be. And, you know, you, you don't sometimes you don't understand how important that is to have a team like that. Well, that's so much fun to talk about, that team. Let's go back. <laughs> that's right. You know, we're the only ones that hadn't changed. I know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are getting older and have family. Me and you hadn't changed. We so. stay the same. Yeah, right. Right. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> All right. From Jim Morris, Joe Zagaki. It's going to be a great weekend for the University of Miami saluting the 2001 National Championship squad.